Hey, what's up you guys? Um, so I have another game here for you. Um, this one is, I'm actually playing an 8k player. And right now I'm ranked 10k, so it's giving... So, uh, it's a two-stone handicap game. Um, I mean it's a little different than a normal game, so... Uh, White will have to play a lot more aggressive to try and make up the fact that I already have two stones on the board. So lately, um, I've been doing a lot of like reading and studying. Uh, I played. Uh, I, I went through and I dug up like all the old books that I had from when I used to play. Um, like I have the series is uh, it's just called Learn to Play Go, and I have like this I have the third and fourth volume of it by uh, Janice Kim. Uh, so I've been doing I've been reading that, and then I also have this like little book. It's um, it's uh, I don't need really, it's not like a real it's not like a regular type of book, but it's a little one and it has basically just like uh, problems and stuff in it that I use. Uh, I like I bring that to school so if I'm like not doing anything at school I work on that. And I've been watching a lot of Hikari no Go lately. Like I've watched maybe uh, I think I've watched like 23 episodes in the last week. So uh, I've been watching that a lot. So white isn't being as aggressive as I as I would expect. Um, I, ca I have a pretty good foundation here so far, but this stone, my M17, was a little, a little daring. Uh, I decided to put that one out there, but it looks like it's going to turn out pretty well. So I can connect that back to my main stone, and now I have this giant. Um, well, I had this giant wall of influence, but he just played right inside of it, so. I'm just going to deal with this. I'm going to play on this side. Oh. Should have done that from the other side. Oh, my God. Oh, I need to that with me. So yeah, one of, one of my main um, problems, I guess, is that I play very fast. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't uh, sit there and like, think about things too often, which I probably should. But yeah, I could have read that a lot better, but in white ends up coming out pretty well on top of that. This corner is looking very strong, which I don't like. And how do I get inside? Hmm. Let me try this. I always hated having trying to deal with the 3-3 point in the corners. That used to be like back when I was like 15k. A lot of people did that and it was very annoying to deal with. I'm not even sure what the proper like Joseki or whatever it's called for this is. Doing it the best I can.
got it, I got it, I got it, don't worry. Okay. Oh no. Maybe we're not. Oh no, we should still be fine. Maybe I should have played T2 first before I did that. I think I should have. But now it'll be fine because I can break out. So with this one I'm like trying to trying to like threaten his cut point right here, but at the same time give me lots of territory, you know? Extended my territory up here from the top left. But this area in the bottom right, in the middle, very bad. He's got a lot of influence down here. And he's basically just trying to box me up. Interesting move, I have nothing to really do with it, but out of impulse, I almost played. But the problem right here is the PC has on L2 is threatening.
do it. I dare you. <laughs> I think they're just gonna keep running so I can make it. 